So it's time to leave Glacia. It was really beautiful. Yeah, what a beautiful park. Yeah. Good news. Okay. The state of Washington is the second largest wine producing region in the country. Uh, That's the color of that lake. Time to leave Glacier. It was really beautiful. Yeah, what a beautiful park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But because we had zero hookups, um, the only sound that you could really hear is the sound of generators, and yep. only at certain hours. Yeah, they restrict it to certain hours, like uh, meal eight, times. Yeah, eight to ten, twelve to two, five to seven. seven. Yeah. Yeah, and then it otherwise out pretty well. you're on your own. Yeah, it worked out fine for us. Yeah. Um, you know, we we did a lot of prep work. And um, it, it, it turned out well. Yeah. Of course, there's, it's a lot of trees here, right. so we don't get a whole lot of solar gain for solar panels. But And our um, Starlink was um, not stable all yeah, the time. Right. But we were able to entertain was, ourselves, no problem. Absolutely, absolutely. Besides, there's so much to see and do here that yeah. that was just a, a, a moot point. Yeah. It really wasn't a big deal. It was awesome. Lots of wild national park. We even yeah. saw some deer coming into our campsite. So yeah, it was quite quite a pleasant stay. It was, but now we're going to travel six hours and stay at a Cabela's. Yeah, for the night. One so night another stay. night of no hookups, but that's okay. We'll have sun there because it's a parking lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we're we're going to have uh, internet too. We'll because um, it's it's a populated area. Yeah. So we're paying it, for Starlink, so we might as well set it up if we have to, if we don't have good Yeah, signals, so. no big deal. Um, yeah. But yeah, so let's uh, make some coffee, some protein shakes, and uh, yeah. pack it up. Got to start the generator. George, repeat after me. It's all part of the adventure. It's all part of the adventure. <laughs> this isn't exactly the most exciting part of it, but... <laughs> and I have to say, I'm really glad it's your part and not my part. <laughs> you can have it. Okay. And that was the last step. Put on about 12 gallons of water. Staying at a Cabela's tonight. Yeah, we're gonna stay one night over at a Cabela's, our first time actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. We've so never we'll see done how that, that goes. It's in, in Idaho, which is like our our second new state this season, this, right? This trip. Yeah. yeah. But five left. Yeah. And Idaho is one of them, and uh, Cabela counts. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. Our, our rule is that you have to you have to sleep in the state in the RV. Yeah, and so. usually we spend a few weeks, yeah. but this time we're spending a night in Idaho. Yeah. Just and passing our through. Plans don't bring us back through Idaho, so we'll have to uh, we'll have to come back and explore the state more. The lower part of it. Yeah. Right now we're in the northern part. Yeah, we'll take a different route. Yep. It's all so. good. Let's go. So we're on the road. You uh, know what Cabela's means, right? What does Cabela's mean? Shopping! Shopping. Let's go. No. Yeah, let's go.
so that was our first stay at a Cabela's. Um, I, not unlike staying at a um, <laughs> Cracker Barrel, I guess. It's a I mean, parking lot. It was a parking lot. It was fine. It was very. There's a lot of a, a lot of RVs and vans there. It, there was. It was. I was surprised. Was I bet you there was probably twenty. Yeah. Oh, you think there was that many? Least, oh, there was at least many. twenty RVs there, oh, wow. camper vans. Yeah, and there was a Walmart like right next door, so I bet there was more there. And right across the street between the two of them was a campground. So a lot of people passing through. Yeah. But it was but, quiet. Uh, it was an expensive stay. <laughs> I'm doing this. So we went into Pop Ellis. Yeah, I needed a new, hundred bucks. I needed sunglasses and yeah. Louise needed some new uh, hiking shoes. So, but uh, so it was yeah. So it wasn't free. It but, was <laughs> it wasn't free. But the previous two days was zero spend days. I think. Oh yeah, that's right. It was oh. yeah yeah. But in any case, it was a, a it was a pleasant stay. It was, it was uh, fine. I wouldn't hesitate to do it again. Yeah, yeah, it was fine. It was quiet. I was glad that it was quiet. George, you know, we just entered Washington, and you know how I like to look up information about Washington. As a matter of fact, stop at that visitor center. Um, good news. Okay. The state of Washington is the second largest wine producing region in the country. Uh -huh. It has more than a thousand wineries and 60,000 plus acres of vineyards. Wow, I didn't, I didn't know, know that. that. I didn't know that. Yeah. Interesting. I like wine. Right? Yeah. Pretty kind of fun. Um, also, it's the birthplace of Starbucks Coffee. I did know that. The Boeing Company, which we won't talk about. And Microsoft. You must have known that. I know that too. Um, and also, Washington produces more apples than any other state in the country. It's also known for producing red raspberries spearmint oil, sweet cherries, and more. That must be why those cherries that I bought yesterday were so inexpensive. Oh, and so good. They oh were good, God, they were so they? delicious. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll be eating cherries for the next month. Right, <laughs> I like cherries too. And drinking wine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and we so have this visitor center. Washington State's a new state for me. I've never been to this one. Oh, me either, not even for business. This no. is great. Um, but most importantly, Kyle and Jess live here. I'm so damn excited to see them. Yeah. Cannot wait. But first, we're going to stay a week in um, uh, Quincy. Quincy, Washington. right? At Crescent RV. It's a thousand trails park. Crescent Bar. Yeah, yeah. Crescent Bar, a thousand trails. We've been dry camping a lot lately, and that's fine. But I can't wait to reset. Everything is just dirty. Like the RV, the outside of the RV needs to be washed. The cheapness filthy. I just feel like everything. I can't wait to take a long lingering shower. I just, yeah. So having full hookups for the next week will be great. Yeah. And then off to Mount Vernon to see Kyle and Jess for three weeks. It's going to be so outstanding. Okay. It'll be fun.
Welcome to Crescent Bar Recreation Area, one of Washington State's hidden gems nestled along the Columbia River near Quincy, Washington. This stunning spot is a favorite for locals and visitors alike, offering endless opportunities for adventure, relaxation, and family fun. Imagine waking up surrounded by towering basalt cliffs with the peaceful Columbia River stretching out in front of you. Crescent Bar is known for its breathtaking views where the natural beauty of the desert meets lush riverside landscapes. The area is perfect for water sports enthusiasts, offering boating, jet skiing, paddle boarding, and even parasailing. The river's calm, wide stretches make it ideal for both beginners and experts looking to explore. For families, Crescent Bar is a fantastic destination with plenty of amenities to make a day outdoors comfortable and enjoyable. There are beautiful picnic areas, playgrounds for kids, and designated swimming spots, so everyone can join in on the fun. Nearby, you'll find Crescent Bar Golf Course, a scenic nine-hole course that's great for a relaxed round of golf with friends or family. Beyond water sports and golfing, Crescent Bar also has wonderful hiking trails that lead you to breathtaking overlooks of the Columbia River Valley. Whether you're an early morning hiker chasing the sunrise or prefer evening strolls with a sunset view, there's a trail to suit your pace. Crescent Bar has several campgrounds, from full RV setups to cozy tent spots right by the water. Fall asleep under a starry desert sky and wake up to the peaceful sound of the river flowing by. Whether you're seeking high energy adventures or a quiet escape, Crescent Bar Recreation Area offers something for everyone with beautiful scenery, modern amenities, and endless outdoor activities. It's the perfect getaway in the heart of Washington State. So today's walk is uh, easy four and a half mile loop trail. Okay, but I have to correct you. <laughs> you said walk. We argue about this all the time. This is a hike. No. It's not a walk. Okay. So yeah, no. that. It's not a very strenuous hike. Let's no, it but that. it's a hike. It's a pretty easy hike. So far. Tra or walk, if you want. But yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's a hike. It's not a paved trail. Nope. It is a little up and down. It is out in the wilderness. Uh-huh, so it's a hike. It is a hike. <laughs> but we didn't go for a morning walk, so it's, it's our morning walk as well. But uh, it is the Ancient Lakes Trail here in Quincy, Washington. And the scenery is so different. It's so yeah. beautiful. Yeah. It's just incredible. Very different. We're not in New England anymore. Yeah. We're so, certainly not in Florida. We saw one waterfall. I don't know if it said waterfalls in the description, so I don't know if there'll be another one if we just haven't seen it. But uh, it does take us down by some old lakes, I guess. I don't know why they call them ancient. I mean, aren't all lakes kind of ancient? Hmm. But, this, uh, this is you know, formed by volcanic eruptions many millions of years ago, I guess. I don't know, I'd have to look that up. It is pretty amazing scenery. The cliffs on both sides of the, the river. And I suspect that where we're walking now used to be the bottom of the river. And as it receded, it, uh, it got narrower and narrower. It is beautiful, beautiful hike. We're a mile in, 3.6 to go. Yep. It's beautiful weather, low 70s. It's in full sun, hence the hats and the sunglasses, yeah. but and the sun shirts. But um, it's not hot. It's right. it, it's it's good. The sun is very strong. So yes. You, do, you want to cover up a little bit or use sunscreen. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Look at that. We haven't seen any wildlife yet, except the one 
little wildlife that Louise saw. <laughs> it wasn't little. It was that big. I wish I would have gotten that on camera because uh, I didn't get to see it. It okay. was a snake. It was a snake. It was a good-sized snake. I was exaggerating a little bit, but it was a good four feet. Yeah. And um, it was black stripes and beige. And he just slithered away, but he was meaty. And I just, oh, I hate them, hate them, hate them, hate them. We were 30 feet into the hike. So now my eyes are glued on the ground and I can't enjoy all of the rest of the scenery because all I can think of is, where are they? Looks like thistle, but I never saw it. There's an app for that. iPhone, take a picture of it, and then on the picture you swipe up, and there'll be look up. Watch it. And that one. <laughs> Is it thistle? Mentazelia. Hmm. Mentazelia. Hmm. Ridiculous. Cool. The rocks kind of look like bison laying down <laughs> in the field. They do. <laughs> hey. Hey. So, I was thinking. Oh. Um. We want to go to Leavenworth for a day while we're here. Yeah. And we want to go to Lake Chellin. No. Is that how you uh, pronounce it? Chellin. Chellin. Okay. Yeah. While we're here, each of those places are like an hour from here, but not near each other. So instead of driving an hour and coming back an hour, and driving an hour to Leavenworth, come back an hour, to say nothing of the fact that. We're not going to be able to enjoy the wineries in Lake Chellin because we have to, you know, we have to drive back and forth and we won't be able to enjoy the German beer in Leavenworth. Why don't we find a place to stay, maybe Harvest Host on Lake Chellin okay. and, um, and then move from there and literally move again over to um, Leavenworth. Uh, there's a thousand trails in Leavenworth. Okay. So I, I found one, and I mean, it, it's not the best of the best, but you know what? I think it'd be great to be closer to these places instead of doing day trips like that. And besides, it's heading west towards Mount Vernon, which is where we're going. Thoughts? What are you doing? I just pulled up Harvest Host, and there is a Harvest Host winery. See if we can get in and check the availability. That's great. And I'll call Thousand Trails because I can't do it online because we're here and I don't want to give up the reservation here unless we can get in over there. Right. But um, I, like I said, it doesn't look like a, a, a wonderful campground, but you know what? This is just okay too. It's not like we're giving up something great. What do you think? Let's give it a try. Let me All see right. if I can. But it's your decision because it's your birthday weekend. <laughs> And I want to make sure that we're having fun. Okay. All right? But we'll stay here Friday. This is for Saturday and Sunday till the 3rd. Because um, Friday night, 
when we were out walking yesterday, remember that couple told yeah. us that there was music yeah. and a couple of places to go right here? Yeah. So, so we still have places to see here. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. let's stay here. So so try to get in there for Saturday, mm -hmm. and I'll try to get Thousand Trails for Sunday and, and until July 3rd. I don't know, though, because it's 4th of July, you know. Who knows? Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, let me, let me see. Um, so it would be for Saturday we want? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Let me see if I can get into that Harvest Host for Saturday. Cool. And then we'll leave here bright and early Saturday. Bright and early. <laughs> and we'll head that way. Cool. Let me know. Okay. And I'll call Thousand Trails. So we were able to get a stay at Shalon Ridge Winery Harvest Host on Lake Shalon. And we were also lucky enough to get a campsite in Thousand Trails Leavenworth. So we left Thousand Trails Crescent Bar a few days early so we could enjoy a few more places in Washington State. Join us next week when we stay at the best Harvest Host winery we have stayed at and we explore the unique Bavarian-style town of Leavenworth, Washington. Drive, drive, drive